market equilibrium in this video we will be studying about the market equilibrium now what is equilibrium see equilibrium is a state where the two opposite forces are in balance two opposite forces are in balance means your dem demand is equal to the supply in that case you are at the point of demand is equal to supply is the point of equilibrium because your two forces are your demand and supply and they are equal it means they are in balance so this is the equilibrium now what is market equilibrium See, market equilibrium is where the price is determined and the market demand is equal to the market supply. Market equilibrium is a situation where your market demand and market supply of a particular industry industry is equal right so when your demand and supply are equal, you get a price that is called as equilibrium price. So, equilibrium price is the price at which the consumers are willing to buy the same quantity of a good which produces are willing to sell see if your producer is willing to sell 100 units at rupees 10 and your buyer is ready to buy 100 units at rupees 10 then it is the market equilibrium and the price determined 10 rupees is the equilibrium price now let us understand with the help of example. See, this is the price we have. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is the market demand. Which is your units. This is your market supply. units means your quantity demanded and here we will see these situations five hundred four hundred three hundred two hundred 
hundred. Hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and hundred. See, we are following here the law of demand and law of supply. As the price increases, the demand decreases, and as the price increases, your quantity supply increases with the change in the price. Right? So the situation here you can see your demand is greater than your supply. Here again your demand is greater than your supply. This is the situation your demand is equal to supply. Here your demand is less than supply. Sorry, this is not this is five hundred. After four hundred it's five hundred. And here your demand is less than supply again. See, the equilibrium point will be when your supplier, those who are ready to supply the quantity of 300 at price 3, your buyers are willing to buy that quantity of 300 at rupees 3. So this is the market equilibrium situation situation right so let's see this on the graph quantity in units then we have price in rupees. The price is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Okay. First, let's make the demand graph. New price is 1, your demand was 500. When your price is 2, your demand is 400. Price is 3, your demand is 300. 4 at 200 and then 100. So this is your demand curve. If you take your supply curve, at 1 you write 100, and 2 it's 200, at 3 it's 300, at 4 it's 400, 5 it's 500. So this is your supply curve this was your demand curve now when your demand is equal to supply you have the market equilibrium this is the point of equilibrium so your 300 is your equilibrium quantity Your rupees 3 is equilibrium price right? and E is your equilibrium point. This we have got when your demand is equal to your supply, your market demand is equal to your market supply. So this is the price we have got. In this way, in perfect competition, Your firm is price taker as the price is decided by the forces of demand and supply. This is the price you, the demand and supply have decided. So in perfect competition a firm is a price taker not a price maker. I hope you are enjoying your learning experience with us. Please download our Scholars Learning 